Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we are listening to Isis Panopticon, one of the fucking best albums in the early 2000s. This came out in 2004, and I still haven't stopped listening to it. I finally have a physical copy again. Thanks to Garth, man. Seriously, this is one of my favorite albums of all fucking time. Like, as much as I love Isis, Celestial, Oceanic, all the newer stuff as well, like, this, to me, is Isis at their fucking best. Like, Oceanic, as good as it is, this, every time I listen to it, it's still fucking... It's like one of those albums that just never, ever gets fucking old. Like, it's just amazing. Aaron Turner, I mean, wow. Like, I mean, I don't get me wrong, I love, like, his new project and stuff, Sumac, but, like, you can't go wrong with Isis the Band. Make sure if you look this up, Isis the Band. You don't want to, you know, people have people think you're looking up the terrorist group. But seriously, one of the best when it comes to the whole, you know, neurosis type sound. Besides neurosis. But Isis had so many fucking, you know, clones and the whole entire neurosis genre with Colda Luna, still the leaders of that pack, but nobody does Isis like Isis, just like nobody does Neurosis like Neurosis, but anyways, today I would like to talk about Ellersith's 1959 EP, five tracks of fucking awesome, awesome, like death metal mixed with black metal. It's fucking sick. Like, the vocals on here are so fucking brutal. And just the subject matter at hand is so fucking disturbing and just mysterious and creepy. Like, there's this fucking vibe to this record that's just awesome. And I've read, like, three different locations of where this band is from. I've heard Germany, I've heard Iceland, I've heard Nova Scotia. I don't know what's real. Mad at Dark Descent said Germany, so I'm gonna go with Germany. But that doesn't really matter here. What matters here is how fucking heavy and just awesome this fucking record is. It's one of the better death metal records that I had never heard until like a year ago. I, I saw um, Count Blagareth do a video about this band, or like it was just in like a collection review, and he was just talking about the subject matter, and I was just like, oh, that sounds fucking sick. And when I like actually listened to it, I was just blown the fuck away, and I was like, I have to get this. So it got pressed on vinyl. I think it's limited to 500 copies, but it's all about the. Delvant Pass Incident, which is like, it used to be a part of the S USSR, but um, in the early winter months of 1959, a group of students and recent graduates from the Polytech Institute, now Ural State Technical In University, departed from the city of Soldervosk, as Yetinburg known in during the Soviet era, on an expedition to Otoran Mountain in the northern Urals. All members of the group were experienced in lengthy ski tours and mountain expeditions, but given the time of year, their route was estimated to be of the highest difficulty, a destination of Grade 3. Ten days into the trip, on the 1st of February, the hikers set up camp for the night on the eastern st slope of the Hakalecho Mountain, sometimes known as, translated as Krolatskaval, a name that means dead mountain in Mansi, the indigenous language of the region. That evening, an unknown incident sent the hikers fleeing from their tent into the darkness and piercing cold. 
Nearly three weeks later, after the group failed to return home, government authorities dispatched a search and rescue team. The team discovered the tent but found no initial signs of the hikers. Their bodies were eventually found roughly a mile away from their campsite in separate ravine clutching one another. I mean, in separate locations, half dressed in sub zero temperatures. Some were found face down in snow, others in fetal position, and some in a ravine clutching one another. Nearly all were without their shoes. After the bodies were transported back to civilization, the forensic analysis proved baffling. While six of the nine had perished from hypothermia, the remaining three had died from brutal injuries, including a skull fracture. According to the case files, one of the victims was missing her tongue, and when the victim's clothing was tested for contaminants, a radiologist determined certain articles to contain abnormal levels of radiation. After the close of the investigation, the authorities barred access to the Hulchial and the surrounding area for three years. The lead investigator, Lev Anvar, wrote in his final report that the hikers had died as the result of an unknown compelling force. In emphasizing that, despite the best efforts of modern science and technology, te technology, ah, you know, advances in technology still defines the case 50 plus years later. Dead Mountain by Donnie Ichar, 2013. I know now not to smoke and read. Lesson learned. But yeah, this whole entire album is based around this incident. And it's fucking creepy, awesome, heavy, and just the vibe on this it, it just it seriously I hate the word but it's haunting as fuck I love it it's everything you could want like when it comes to bands that mix black metal and death metal this is so on the fucking money because I've never heard a band be this brutal vocally but then have these like awesome fucking black metal parts it's just bad ass and it's even creepier with the backstory. I know I fucked up a lot reading it because I'm lit. But, like, you have pictures of the hikers and it's gnarly. Like, holy shit. And this is like 26 minutes and it's just fucking punishing. And at the same time, just the vibe and atmosphere, it's so fucking haunting. I love it. Like, I love everything about, like, this band. They did a split recently. I forget with who. I've only listened to their songs of it digitally. But I need to pick up a copy of that as well. Because this band is fucking sick. Elzareth. Holy fuck. If anybody from this band watches this somehow. Holy fuck. Like, I, I'm so bummed that... It took me so long to get a copy of this, like, but there's, I know that there's 500 copies available. It said sold out on Bandcamp, but I got this from Dark Descent, and it wasn't sold out there, so if you want a copy of this, go there. I'll put a link, but, uh, it, it's so fucking good. Like, it's only five tracks. And it's considered an EP, but like, I, I, cons I just call it an album. It's 26 minutes, but it fucking hits home heavy. Like, the subject matter is no joke. The lyrics, like, they're kind of hard to read, but they're pretty cool. Like, I'll just read some words, like, Alluring the temper's growing veracity, but one welfare feels redemption impending his motions, beholding the manic aura in vetitious eyes, the others the blazing fire of one vision of ruined palaces him. It's awesome. Isolated from the infected, he tried to save nine lives, uncathargic, left behind. Scarred by impulence. It's 
what I mean. It's fucking heavy material, like... And these pictures are just even creepier, like... It's like a fucking horror movie, and from what I read in the comments when I did the unboxing, there's plenty of fucking material and stuff about the incident. I did zero fucking research, like... Because I want to fucking find out what the best book, documentary, film, whatever. I watched a couple of trailers yesterday, but I don't know what to check out. So, I want your guys' help here. Just tell me in the comments what a good video, documentary, film, based on this incident. I'm looking more so for a documentary because I want facts. I mean, it still might not be the truth, but I want as close to the truth as possible. I mean, if anything's fictionalized, I can do that later on, but I really, really want to get more into this, because musically, this is so fucking good, so content-wise, outside of that little tidbit of information, I don't really know too much about this incident, but I know it's fucking crazy sounding, and it really sounds like a fucking horror movie and that it's made up in some Hollywood fucking bullshit that somehow Michael Bay would add explosions to but luckily that won't ever happen but musically this is a fucking monster and that's what I wanted to go over I just wanted to talk about how good this band is as musicians as a death metal record in whole even though it's considered an EP this is totally worth fucking every penny. Seriously, this is so fucking good. It's heavy as fuck. Like, the atmosphere alone, it's worth the fucking money. Like, seriously, it's just so fucking good on all levels. And that's all I can say about it. I can't even pronounce some of these titles, so I'm not even gonna ruin my words and your guys brains but the ending track is compelling natural force and it's a fucking doozy the opening track i i don't know what language it's even in but it's like this it sounds like a news report but right before the first song starts it really really i think because i don't know what they're saying my mind makes up what they're saying and I'm picturing like just, just these horrible, horrible situations for these hikers. And I don't know, it's fucked up. Maybe it's my imagination. It just goes to a dark place when I'm given material like this. Which is why somebody should hire me to direct TV or something. I'll do it for free. I, I just know I could make a good film. Like, I don't know. Part of me just wants to go for it. And I've seen people make movies on iPhones and, like, have it be legit. But I can't act, so who knows. But Ellersith 1959, you need this in your life. If you're a fan of death metal, if you're a fan of black metal, if you're a fan of just fucking, you know, stuff with cool mythology behind it, there's, some, there's nothing else like this. It's something that really, really leaves an unsettling just vibe inside of your body after listening to it and i mean it in a fucking awesome way because i think that's what they were going for because not many bands really look i mean a lot of bands do they'll look at true life incidents but they'll somehow make it corny in most cases and i hate saying that but it's true but on this they make it fucking their own and it's just absolutely devastating and sonically it's fucking devastating and subject matter wise it's just like holy fucking shit this is awesome and you need to get into it Eller Sif 1959 on Dark Descent Records and we've been blasting Isis Panopticon I keep thinking the lens is over here I'm sorry see this is why you don't get lit before doing these videos but Isis Panopticon, I, I can't recommend this album enough, it's fucking beautiful in every way, oh man, I, I still love it to this day, this is In Fiction, one of the best tracks on it, but anyways, thanks for watching, have a good day, it's hot out there, stay hydrated, hails. <laughs>